listen, listen. First of all, when you girls come over and you want to take over, like what you just done right now, coming up. But when when you move in with a girl, you have done yourself public castration. Let me explain this to you. First, you have allowed her to come up in your space and basically baby you. This is a woman who's not gonna breastfeed you, but she's gonna treat you like our own hold kid. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to State of Society. My good name is Mike G. As usual, we have a wonderful show for you tonight. And I have an amazing guest. He's a YouTube vlogger. No, that's... He's on it. That's okay. Let me cover your tongue. That's a YouTube vlogger. Actually, they call it a YouTuber. Why? Vlogger, see, video vlogger. A oh, video logger. Yeah, so video blogger. So his name is Simon Says, and he does make some really amazing uh, episodes every Monday. Every Monday. And he will be telling us why he does this and what he want to, you know, influence in uh, his um, potential audience. Welcome, man. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Thanks. I saw him in the welcome match. He had it all prepared. Yeah. Everyone. God, it's clear that you're so ready. You are the first YouTube blogger. Am I? I've seen. Oh. Uh, clearly, <laughs> but um, yes, but I do uh, actually do a lot of YouTube videos. Usually, I have, yeah, yeah, even how I uh, how I even actually began was even just random. Tell us before you tell us how you began. Mm. <laughs> you are very vocal since the first time I saw you. I have a wet time, but, and I remember you didn't grow up in Kenya. Where did you grow up? Oh, deep southern Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. Seriously, yeah, I, yeah. I had a weird. Southern accent actually when I came here. That's the US. Yeah. Mm. Southern yeah. Alabama. Um, God, I was assuming. How did you end up there? Um, I was <laughs> I was put on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I was put on a plane. Yeah. And then we woo! Get out of here. Yeah. But it was um mm. it was uh when I was five but yeah. I was a little kid. I grew up during my, uh, my primary uh, oh, you call it elementary there. Yeah. But junior high, yeah. Uh, junior high is just beginning of high school yeah. and I actually finished up my high school here in Kenya yes where Kenya. exactly I finished up my high school in Tiris High School Jiri High School yes that is in uh, Mara Maragua Maragua, Maragua Muranga County bruh uh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were from Muranga hey Murang hey, my ID actually says that yeah from uh, Muranga actually my child is uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Muranga so yeah. you did uh, Bachelor's of Mass Communication at Jake University yes I did which option BJ Broadcast Journalism. Yeah, yeah. BJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that, I know that. <laughs> and so, for the last couple of, uh, I think the last one year, actively you've been doing this episode, Simon Says, and I felt like you were trying to you know, bring to picture with a different sense of humor the things that are happening around the country. And you've been so good at that one. Thanks. Appreciate that. I actually, I watch every Monday without fail, but sometimes when I feel like make sure I watch it on Tuesday. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> 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 exactly. But you watch it. But, but tell us. Uh -huh. um, we we just showed one clip there, you know, before we started. Yeah. And I don't know what the viewer thinks about that. Sometimes I felt like you by the way, is that content written? My content is you know the thing is, one, I I'm not no people say I'm very uh, vulgar, but I'm not vulgar. What I paint you a picture. <laughs> You're not funny, you, what are you? Ah, I'm Simon. <laughs> I'm not vulgar, but I, I like painting a picture for you, and you interpret it your own way. Yeah. Like based on how I say something, would you just interpret it a different way? Like for example, yeah. if I say the word moist like that, you different. Uh, it would be totally different when I say moist. Moist. This is a different. You know, moisty. Yeah. Now that one can be interpreted in no different yeah. way. Now I just play with you, like based on like how society even guys uh, interpret different different things. But like, one thing is I never cuss, yeah. or I do like I have only said like one or two cuss words mm -hmm. over seventy episodes. Uh, so, but that one can that one can be yeah seventy episodes. How many episodes now? It's seventy. I no, no it's actually no, I have seventy one videos. Seventy one videos. But yeah. I have like, I have like a documentary in there which I actually did. So you you look like you are very updated on what's happening on both international news and local because, because you did something about Donald Trump and everything and you you critiqued him. You has to criticize him. Well, why not? I mean, everybody's doing it. But it's fun. Who would you vote for now in the U.S.? Who would I vote for? Uh huh. Uh, well, let girls win. I mean, it's about time. Girls have been underneath too much. Ah, that's how most of you guys were born. <laughs> 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 so, please, all Trump. 
Uh, right now, yes, it's Clinton. Clinton. Why, why, why? Why not? I mean, plus, I mean, it's about time let the girls take over. I mean, who around the world? Girls. Beyonce said it. It's about time Queen Bee actually now her prophecy comes to life in the form of Hillary Clinton. So I say that yeah. this Hillary Clinton running for presidency is actually prophesied by Beyonce. The holy prophet <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce prophesied this way back in her album. And we're just seeing it now. So you see how <laughs> this has manifested into something really awesome? Beyonce. So you think, because Beyonce, Beyonce, you think because Beyonce did Whatever she did, I don't care actually. I, I, I'm not a very shame. No, no, no. I blasphemy. Seriously, I do not. I blasphemy. do not follow Beyonce. But how do you not follow Beyonce? See, by default, you will know. Trust Beyonce me, is. you will not follow her because there's a by long default, line. See, by default, you know who Beyonce is, but I don't care what she does. At some point, for some reason, she's that, moved. But, but anyway, away from that, and if you vote for, for Clinton, that's okay. I'll pray for you. So let's go back to your 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 crazy episodes. Go ahead. I watched some of them and. The emotions you put there, ah, and other, ah, and ah, stuff of nonsense and all that. <laughs> yes. How, how do you cope with your friends, those people who are around you? Because you are very vocal and sometimes I feel like you're not making sense on most of the things you say. One thing is, one thing is, well, I always like, um, here's a key thing actually when you're content creating. Yeah. I've realized, especially for YouTube, mm -hmm. I learned even, um, first thing, I used to make like six minute videos, mm -hmm. eight minute videos, but then I had to like shrink it down because people, ain't nobody yeah. got time for that. People and don't two, want to dance. Ain't nobody got MBs for that. Point, yeah. Nobody has MBs for that. Yeah. And then now, when you gotta shrink it down to like something like that, one, I just don't want to be funny, I also want to give you a point. Yeah. Like even for the reason why I didn't battle the movie, the guy who um, recorded the movie, I'm yeah. showing how guys have become gossip girls now. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so with That's that a guy, not a guy. Yeah, it's a guy like, yeah. becoming a gossip girl now. See, see, girls, I mean, this, this is like social sex change. Mm. What the heck is going on? Like, even girls have no idea what yeah. the heck is going on. I mean, Kayla Jenner is turning to a woman. I mean, what's going on, guys? We really want to become girls that much? So, yeah. what do you want to influence in people through your episodes? Through my episodes? Uh, basically, give people a different twist on things, give a different look. At the same time, give yeah. them a harsh reality. And uh, be as. You know, the thing is, some things cannot be said by mainstream media. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and... Um, because it's explicit. Not very explicit. It's not very explicit. explicit. Yeah. They have other um, forces from within. Yeah. You cannot talk bad about this. But they, this is literally what me and you talk about out here in the open. And that's what sometimes needs to be said. But then I do it in a nice humor way so it doesn't come off very dictatorial yeah. or very judgmental. So that's basically what I do and I want to give you a different look. Like, oh, I never saw it that way. Oh, I never saw that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, I was watching uh, something you did about things that guards do, and I saw you brought in a new yeah element. Yes, this element. This element. element. And <laughs> how did that happen? You called her an element. Yeah, she's, not, she's, she's a she's chemical she's element. Yes, she's, she's human. She's chemical element. element. <laughs> uh, uh, are you trying to diversify this, or that was a collaboration? Actually, that was, that's what a lot of YouTubers do. Yeah. Sometimes they want to reach out and tap into. And she had uh, been uh, shout out to you, Valerie. Yeah. She had been uh, constantly calling. Oh, she's Valerie. Yeah. Valerie yeah. Yes, yeah. and she had been constantly calling. Should get her next time. Next time with her. She, I'll think about that. Uh, <laughs> she been calls me, bugging me, saying, "Hey, Simon, I would love to do something with you." Yeah. So I said, "Why not? Let me do this." And uh, we did it. Uh, and it was we gave birth to that episode. That was so, that's so good. Yes. That was so good. I think you should have been there. I watched it and it was one of those episodes that stood out for me. No, ah. but well, that's my really. But maybe it's because of now this new element. <laughs> God, <laughs> girl, this one. It that is so bad. So anyway, we're going to take a short break now, and when we come back, he's he'll be telling us the cost of producing all that one. All right, like maybe a single mm -hmm. episode, mm -hmm. and. What's the feedback you're getting from people who are your audiences? Don't go too far, we're taking a commercial break. We'll be back. We got grown men with chest hairs out here talking like they got panties on. Hi all doing and welcome to this edition of Simon Says. So men, aka the gender that really holds the future. We just passed that duty to you girls for nine months. Now we men have evolved from looking like an overcooked mushroom to looking like we only grow thoughts on one part of our head. But even with all these advancements that we have made as men, as the gender that really has that base, we just seem to still have a few young thugs up in the place. 
Man, if you are here apologizing because you farted, you young thuggin'! Real men don't apologize because they farted, because they know farting is a form of expression. But don't overexpress yourself, because you're gonna have to clean up your own expressions. <laughs> if you out here growing your pinky nail out, you young thuggin'! Man, if you out here making more noise than your girl in the bedroom, you young thuggin'! Unless she sticks her finger in the wrong place. <laughs> Now here's a story with a classic example of a guy who is young thugging. Now this is Lillian Muli Kanane. She's a popular news anchor and plus she features a lot in many many teenage wet dreams. Now she recently got ticked off by a waiter. Well, let's see what happened. What the hell? I come up here to stop and ask money what I'm paying. My face! My what? My face! My what? My face! My face! My face! Now clearly Lillian Mooley does not like people all up in her face when she's yelling because she might actually spit on you. So she's just being considerate. The Olympics is just a fitness orgy. Yeah? Just a bunch of fit bodies running around everywhere. So that means a lot of smelly armpits. <sighs> Hi all doing and welcome to this edition of Simon Says. So, the Olympics, aka the only time where it's okay for a man to last under 10 seconds. But the Olympics were great, seeing people run, jump, and this. The Olympics were a time for us to recognize people who have been working so hard for one moment after four years. That's how long it took me to get my degree, but I didn't get a piece of gold to bite on. Don't worry, the Olympic gold medals have only 6 grams of gold in them. What? You mean that all these athletes can't cheat, but they're being cheated on with a prize that's not even half real? Yeah, I know, it's like having a girlfriend who's half real. What? How? Sex change. Half man, half amazing. Cause women are just amazingly evil. You ate the forbidden fruit first. Your fault. Now back to the fitness orgy, aka the Olympics. Well, they're done and the Olympians are coming. The Olympians are coming. The Olympians are coming. The Olympians are coming. All right, we are back again, and this is Secret Society. We are still with Simon Says. We're going to call you Simon Says for now. All right, but that's yeah. what my mom will call me. My mom will call me Simon Maingi. Simon Maingi. Yes. Maingi. Yeah. Maingi. We've been talking about his uh, episodes. Simon says he makes this every Monday. You just see one how it looks like. Yeah. And coming back to you now, what goes into producing one episode, like from scratch, composing it and all those things? I don't know to imagine, but what goes into creating one and how many people are involved in that? Okay, composing it like a Mozart or Beethoven. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so exactly. I mean, exactly. exactly. So why don't I have Shaggy here? They all did. The, um, basically, I do all that. Yeah. I literally do all everything from it's, start it's to end. It's called gorilla style. Oh, really? Yeah, when you do from A to Z. Really? Uh, apart, from start. apart from manufacturing <laughs> the camera. <laughs> exactly, I don't make the camera. Yeah. Oh, so I do it gorilla style, mm -hmm. as you said. Mm -hmm. And the main thing is I usually start, mm -hmm. I don't care about what's going on in the news until like Thursday. Unless something big happens socially, yeah, yeah. Um, you mean in public? But, yeah, what's what in public domain? Anything, yeah, usually even if it could be on from Twitter, it could be from Facebook, it could be from Instagram, something that came up and people were discussing it. But then now, it can be one of those things where people discuss but never actually made that mainstream yeah. news, or it could be one of those things where it came on the mainstream news, but I don't think that it deserved the right justice. Basically, here's my key. The key thing, I at least sit in with my parents to watch news, let's say twice or three times a week. Yeah. And when I sit in, that story, that immediately when that story ends, yeah. my parents are discussing it. That's the story I follow. Okay. Now, if that it is, that's the best so way. So your parents are your inspiration to what you're going to produce next. Oh, even anybody. Sometimes, Sometimes. It's not yeah. always. Yeah. It's not always the case. Just even anybody. Like whenever even I'm watching maybe a YouTube video, yeah. I'm watching someone on YouTube, mm -hmm. and then now uh, someone mentions it, someone has an opinion about it, but they give like a opinion and that's it. Yeah. But then now, see now, that is literally what I do. I just want to air out your, my, my, your opinion, mixed up with my opinion, but I give my interpretation yeah. of like maybe social events and how do I do it? I, I, but I, before I didn't use the script, I can wing it, I can wing it, yeah. but they're not as punchy and as yeah. funny. But now when I script it, I'm able to like, okay, what if I put this joke over yeah. here yeah. and put this, what if I just move this joke over here, oh, this is too dirty, it's like, oh, this is just not so right. What, what feedback are you getting from people who consistently watching this one? 
Oh, I mean, I get random comments. Like, I did one about annoying girls, yeah. and I mentioned about their periods. Yeah. Yo, I got backlash from that from like several <laughs> groups, WhatsApp groups. Yeah. I mean, ladies going here, my YouTube comments. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh my god, how can you talk about our periods? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and like, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a normal biological process. What are your girlfriends say about this? Oh, my girlfriend, you have one. Oh, uh, no, I don't have one. Last time you checked, you just broke her heart. <laughs> and you comfortably told me that you broke your girlfriend's heart. I would never break anybody's heart. No, no, no. It was actually you shockingly. Let me not lie, lie to you. Don't lie on TV. It, it doesn't lie. We everybody lies. Everyone is gonna remember this <laughs> forever. But anyway, <laughs> what does your girlfriend say about you? Okay, let's say ex. Yeah. Let's say ex. Oh, it's your ex. Yeah. Oh. No, now her even. Uh, I don't think it's even. How many exes? How many exes? Just one. Just one. I'm, I'm a good boy. Um, just I mean, for me, anybody. Let me talk about my mom actually. Yeah. My mom, for example, watching my stuff, she thought it was very funny. She actually was the one who, who from my episode one, who actually said, you know, I like, I want you to like come up with something new, something different, and I want you to be persistent with it and make sure make it your own. And that's what has given birth to this little baby we call Simon Says episodes. Yeah. Yeah. They come out every single Monday on my YouTube channel. You can search Simon Says Kenya. You can actually get it right there. Shout out to everybody that comes out. No, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Look at me, program. But then, as you were saying. That um, what is it going to what is it um, take to do that? Yeah. One is um, I give like time wise. If I sit down and I'm focused, yeah. maybe I can have a little distraction. I mean, just two hours to come up with the script. Just two hours. Mm. You, so you write that down and then you mm. conceptualize that you're going to yeah deliver that. Point. Exactly. Yeah. And the key thing is, if I'm not laughing when I'm typing it out, mm. it's not going to be on. So you have to, I have to laugh. And the thing is, mm. I never laugh. There's so many things, and the thing, and the thing is, so and the thing is, yeah. and the thing you is, you have to laugh at your own sense of humor. I have to, and your own sense of human. Exactly. Oh wow, look at you, profound. Uh, yes. profound. <laughs> yeah, you have to, because if I don't, how do I expect you to laugh? Yeah. And uh, yeah, you have to be very self-critical, and you have to listen uh, to people. We will tell you, Simon, you're talking too fast. Mm -hmm. Slow down your speech. Yeah. Simon, I can't hear you. So how I usually do is I script it up, and uh, it usually takes me about two hours. And after I come up with that information, I and then I just make sure. I, then after that, I go shoot. Yeah. Now shooting, I have a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. I do that requires me saying something like, "Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to this edition of Simon Says." Now uh, I say, "Blah blah blah." I now have a system, mm -hmm. which now I mean I've done like sixty episodes, so now I have a system like I know this is joke time. This is fact time. This is yeah. joke time. This is fact time. That sequence of things. Fact time. Yeah, fact. Not what, what are people saying, and, and especially those people who really are consistent in this one, they make sure they watch everything. My first big fan yeah. was a hater. She now devout, oh, devout, she. She now devoutly comments and mm -hmm. tells me how much she loves my episodes. And every Monday. Without every care. Monday. Yeah. And, or even if not that, she can send me a text or an email. And first thing was just like, oh my goodness, I saw H American accent. Like, why are you not Kenyan? <laughs> and, um, and the thing is, uh, with that, what you have to do is she must be a, she must be a light skin. I have no idea. I've never met her. Um, she well, don't hate on them. No, not hate. Just be. You need a hug. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> not from you. I don't. I don't even. I don't hugged by you. <laughs> so anyway, um, with that, I what you do is you make sure you respond to every critic yeah. with a uh, courtesy, with the utmost courtesy. It's important, and you listen to what people say. You have to remember that they're your boss and the key thing I have in my mindset is progression is key. Never get comfortable, so what all these comments I make it a hundred percent. Larry Madour may uh, share my post or even kill them talk about whatever yes. which they have touche. Um, so with all that I mean don't let it get any good yet because yeah, you have to know that like, there's always another level. Because if you set up the mediocrity So wait, what wait. makes you wake up every morning and you feel like you still want to do this again and again? Oh, um, honestly, is because I still talk. <laughs> the moment I stop talking, I mean, <laughs> talking. Is, what, what, what happened when you would stop talking? Oh, I would use sign language, and boy, would you understand oh, everything I, I say. That would be, that would be, <laughs> I, I don't want to imagine you in a bus trying to tell uh, uh, tell people Mr. stories. Yes, yes. Uh, oh God, because no. you, you, you <laughs> shake people's faith. <laughs> <laughs> but faith is meant to be shaken. But so. You feel that what you're doing is having an influence on people? Definitely. Definitely. It gives people a perspective. Like, for example, um, there was one, which one is this? 
It was one of our back, I think I pointed out um, how politicians, they come in, they demand so yeah. much. It's like I give weird little punishments that you can give to politicians uh, instead of always saying I care to. You know, especially with this uh, election time coming along, so much political climate, so much heat up. You know, just a little punishment you can give, like when they, when they always want to come to Harambe, they'll be, you want to have like the biggest one, you want to be like, and when she knew I gave us a million tickets, get a record thing. It's not doing that. I said, you say, and so and so, I gave a million tickets. And then you say, but I didn't remember Jolie, ah, if I did, I did a tempo or something. You, you glorify that tempo. Yeah, yeah. You diminish whatever, you, because you know what he has done. Don't be, you know, I just give you, it's an eye opener. Yeah. And I think it, it's necessary, uh, considering the new medium that a lot so of So in the last you were also trying to enlighten people on what's happening and how they should be responding to what's happening around them. No, yeah, give them a duh. Uh, the last thing I want to ask is if, you are not doing this as something that comes from you because it's you seem to be so passionate about it. Okay. What would you be doing maybe? Commercials, radio, which oh. I'm actually about to get into. Have you tried voice overs for? I've done. Oh for even for big codes. Okay, okay, okay. Bruh, big code. Catch up. Wow. Get on my level. What 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 what, what, <laughs> what is you doing apart from the same ones because we can talk about that. Apart from that, oh I do um I do some other things. I also do I do a lot of shooting. Yeah. Um, go out and do some documentaries for like these other companies that you know, at least they have you have to have a budget to really come along to it. Yeah. A good budget. And um, I do that uh, with a friend of mine. And at the same time we also I also do for, uh, a lot of freelancing will work with uh, uh, Radio Africa. Do a lot of voiceovers yeah. for them. Yeah. So maybe you can give us your last comment on my last comment and what you do, what what you're up to after this. I mean my last comment would be just um, if for anybody out there who's Watching even how I began my YouTube, it's like just basically do what yeah. you love. Do what you love. When you, when you actually do what you love, you actually do it and make sure you perfect your art. Don't just do it and then you just stagnate on that. Yeah. But you have to always remember progress is key. If you stagnate, you will, you will end up like KBC. Yeah. Back on. Exactly. You have right. to always progress. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Welcome back. Uh, we have you. <laughs> oh. When we have you. When yeah. We have you. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching this one. And we really appreciate your time. Until next time, see you again.